Today I'll be doing a tutorial in Maya about how to make a barrel. What we'll do is we'll go to the polygons menu and we'll click the cylinder, drag it out like this, now drag it up about this, now just uh, click on it. Um, now what you want to do is go to edit mesh, go to insert edge loop tool and click the box here. Make sure it's set on to use equal multiplier and it's set to number of edge loops 4. So what we're going to do is um, click on here. Now we're going to go to press R, which will scale it. Yep, scale them out. Uh, double click this one, then hold shift, double click here, and then scale this one down a bit. Yep, now what we're um, going to do is double click here, hold shift, double click here. Now you're going to scale them out and hold out the gre uh, green one in the middle and just pull them out a bit. Now double click on this one, shift, double click here and you're going to pull this one out now too, like this. So it's uh, more of a barrel shape. Now go object mode, scale it up a little. Yeah, probably like this is okay. I'm um, actually going to just uh, Go back to edge, double click, shift, double click, and reduce the size of this a little. Okay, now go to object mode, select it. Now hold control and press D, which will duplicate it. Go to your move tool. Now move it out like this. Now what you're going to do, go to face like this. Now click here. That was a left click. Then hold shift and double click next to it. While holding shift still, double click here. Uh, shit now like this and then click once while holding shift and then double click next to it there. Now what you want to do is go to edit mesh extrude. Um, make sure that it's set to this mode here. You don't want it to be on this one. You want it to be like this. So you click that little thing if it's on the wrong one. Now you drag out the blue um, like this. Mm, probably yeah this is enough. Now you want to do go to face mode. So right, uh, right click on your object, left click on face, left click here, hold shift, double click there, delete. Now same for here, delete these as well. Now go to this, have a look at the top, and select all of these. So keep holding shift, select all of them. Now you're going to hit delete. Now you do the same with the bottom one. Left click, hold shift, and then keep left clicking all of them until you select it all. Now what you do, just um, hit delete again. Now what you want to do is click back onto your barrel on a, uh, object mode. I go to attribute editor, go to piece cylinder one, and have a look at the translate here. Copy it. Now go to opt, uh, click on this um, this one here and make sure that all the numbers are the same. Yeah, so boom, click here. Now that will line back up with here perfectly. So what you want to do now, go to object mode. Now you'll Actually, go to face mode. Select all these faces here. And same with the bottom as well. Once you've selected all of them, hit R, which is the shortcut for scale. And then just uh, drag it a bit, like so. Um, now what you want to do, go back to object mode and click on the main base of your barrel. And then you click on the create UVs part and you click automatic mapping. After you've done that, just um, right click off it. Now. Um, you select, 
go to, uh, back to object mode. So you right click on the object, left click on object mode, and select like the rims. Now you do the same thing for here, you click on create UVs, and then go to automatic mapping, click it, like this. And then what you should do now is, now actually the barrel is um, modeled, what you want to do now is um, go online and find a, a wood texture and also a metal texture. So the wood texture will be the one that goes on the base and then a metal texture which will go here as like the, I don't know, you can say the rings around the barrel or something. So once you've um, downloaded two textures, click on the uh, barrel, um, right click, hit here, assign new uh, material, click on Lambert on the color, select this uh, checkered box here, left click it, go to file, um, where it says image name, this box here, the yellow one, click on it, and just uh, find a directory to the text uh, texture that you downloaded, and double click it. If your texture is not showing, make sure that you hit the um, soccer ball type looking thing that will make your texture show up. So now do the same thing with here. You um, click on this one, uh, right click, assign new material, and go to Lambert. Click here on the checkered box, file, and then um, yellow folder again, and then just uh, direct it to where you uh, downloaded your texture. So for me here, I'll just choose the metal one. And then, yeah, there you go. Um, that's pretty much it. That's how you make a simple barrel in Maya. Thank you for watching.